All right, so here we are back in our Google Classroom. And today we're going to look at how to post an assignment, post an announcement, and go back to our About page so that we can post uh, some resources or materials that we would like our students to have access to. So you'll notice here on this home page here of mine that I have a class here in which I am enrolled in. And then here is my class, which I am uh, in charge of. So I'm going to choose my class so that I can post an assignment or post and post an announcement. So the first thing you'll notice is that my stream has been uh, active lately and my students have been writing and posting some of their work online for feedback. So if I wanted to, to post an announcement, I simply choose up here and click on it. And then you'll notice that the cursor is blinking and it allows me to write something to my class. So I might write something along the lines of, um, how is everyone understanding tonight's homework? And I can leave it at that. Or if I needed to add um, some sort of PDF file, I could choose the uh, paperclip button. And you'll notice that I can put a file up from here from my computer. I can also choose something from my Google Drive. I could choose to add a YouTube video, provided that YouTube is open in your district. Or I can attach a link. And I'm not going to choose to attach anything right now. So I'm going to go ahead and post that. And there it is, you'll see that it's been posted. And if my students were to be on it, they would automatically see it, uh, it pop up. So now I'm going to try to um, post an assignment for my students. So you'll notice the little V right here is pointing towards announcements. Now that I would like to post an assignment, I'm going to choose assignment. You'll notice that the little V here is pointing towards assignment. I can write the title of the assignment, give a little description if I choose to, create a due date, and again I have the options of uploading a file from my computer, I can upload something from my Google Drive, I can upload something from YouTube again, or I can attach a link. So I'm going to choose uh, the title of my assignment which is Genius Hour Projects. And this is just a list of uh, projects that my class generated uh, that they thought might be interesting for Genius Hour. And that document is actually in my Google Drive. So I'm going to choose the Google Drive. And you'll notice it says My Drive. I, if I've made a mistake, I can also go back to Upload and find it wherever it is on my computer. Again, it's in My Drive. I know it is in this particular folder. And... I simply find the title of my assignment, which is Genius Hour Projects. I choose it. I choose the blue Add button. And there my document appears. Over here, I can choose to have my students view the file, so they're solely allowed to view the file. I can have them edit the file. That means that everybody is allowed to edit this one particular file. Or I can make a copy for each student. And for those people who have used Doctopus in the past, this is very much like Doctopus, where each student gets his or her own copy in which to edit. In this case, I'm actually going to have students can edit the file because I don't mind that they're all editing the same file that we will all have access to. And then when I'm ready, I can choose Assign. Now, if I needed to add, say, a video to explain what Genius Hour is to my students, I can also add another item in this list for my students to choose from for this project or for this assignment. In this case, I only need the one document. So now I'm going to choose the blue Assign button. And you'll see that my project now appears. No one has done it, um, and so no one is quite finished yet. Now if I want to see what assignments are upcoming, should show up here if I refresh my page. And you'll notice that upcoming assignments due tomorrow is Genius Hour Projects. Um, now if I needed to add something to this, say a comment, and I'm actually going to add a comment to this to tell my students not to worry about it, that I was just creating a video for others.
and then I can also post. They can also continue to post on here as well. You'll notice that if I made a mistake or if I need to edit something on here, say the ending date or the due date, I would just simply choose the edit button and it allows me to choose that way. Or I can simply delete the entire assignment if necessary. Now if I want to check out what the assignment is and who has done it, I would choose the assignment in that box, Genius Hour Projects, and the list of my students appears. I can send them a private note, so if I'm worried that this student is not working um, and not doing what I feel he is or she is doing, I can simply go ahead and go on there and write a simple note that goes directly to that student and nobody else has access to that. If any of the students, uh, open, once the students open the project, I'll be able to see where they are. So for instance, clicking on the student, nothing appears here, so they did not open the project yet. But once they do, their project will appear. You'll notice at the top here, this is the assignment status and I can go over to this little tab which is the assignments detail and again this just gives me a quick rundown of who has completed the um, the assignment how many are not done and what the actual assignment is and one last thing I'd like to show you is over here in the about tab we looked at this yesterday where you can write a little bit about a description on your class and meeting places. You'll notice down here it says add materials. This is if I have a website or maybe I have some e-textbooks that I would like my students to have access to. I can just simply click on here. Again I title it. Just like the announcements and the assignments I can uh, upload a file, find something from my Google Drive, attach a YouTube video, or attach a link. And you'll see in this case down here I've already attached a link. I've attached my website. Most of my students access a lot of their uh, information and other websites through my website. So I can go ahead and click on there. You'll see it opens up a new tab and it takes us directly to my website. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. Thank you.